Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Leanne. Today is mostly going to be a cleaning video of our barn dominium guest house which we are living in right now with a couple of extra things thrown in. Hope you enjoy. I'm starting with our garage, which really isn't your typical garage. We decided to turn it into our home gym and a theater. We don't really have access to a gym here. We live in the country and our movie theater isn't that nice. And we do really love watching movies. So we just decided to make our garage the way we wanted to. And right now we have a bunch of Jake's toys down there because we are sharing the apartment upstairs and it's only one bedroom so he doesn't really have a lot of place to keep his toys so we have a little area downstairs that he can also play in. Pretty much everything in the garage came from Facebook Marketplace. My husband searched for months and pretty much stockpiled everything in storage until we were ready for it. The only new things were the screen and the projector. Even everything in the gym came from Facebook Marketplace. It's not quite finished yet. I hate my husband still wants to get a couple of more pieces and we also have a rack for our dumbbells that needs to be put together, but it's been really nice so far having a place to work out. We also decided to add a, a powder bath, just in case our guests staying upstairs wanted to have access to another bathroom, especially if there's a family staying up there. Another thing that we added was a laundry area, and this has come in very handy since we've been living here. That cabinet will eventually be moved to our master bathroom once the remodel is finished. And that area will be set up so that we can start making wine and my brother-in-law can make his meat. But that will happen eventually. And I don't really know if mopping this dirty floor is doing anything, but it does feel better since we are walking on it with our bare feet. But eventually, my father-in-law is coming up to help Robert acid wash it and they will seal it and then we won't have to worry about the dirt anymore. I decided to take a little break from cleaning to check on the plants in the garden house. I didn't want them to get too dry. We haven't had rain in a couple of days, which is surprising because we live in a rainforest. Uh, but it's been really dry and nice lately, and I just wanted to make sure that everything uh, was doing okay and not getting too wilty. Plus, just coming inside always makes me happy. I love seeing our veggies doing so well. We have Brussels sprouts and kale and greens and tomatoes and herbs, peppers, lettuce, broccoli. And I think there's a strawberry plant over there in the corner too. And it's just really nice and relaxing to come out and water everything and check on everything and just see how the garden is doing. And I also noticed that we have a baby tomato coming in and flowers on pretty much all of the tomato plants back there. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna do really well this year. We did change up our soil. We used our own compost that we made. Plus we started using mushroom compost and that has made such a huge difference this year. 
Good morning. It is the next day. We had a bunch of errands to run yesterday afternoon, so I didn't get to finish all of the things that I started, but I am awake, barely, and I'm ready to get back to work. But first, I definitely need this cup of coffee. Next on my list is cleaning my husband's office. One of the things that we looked for when we moved up here was a separate space for him to work. Uh, my husband runs a tech company, so we really needed an office space that was away from the house so that no barking dogs or a screaming child would ruin any of his meetings. He meets a lot with clients and employees. He's pretty much on Zoom all day long, so he really needed a quiet and private space to work so this was just a shed in the back of the yard or behind the house i should say it was completely unfinished there were holes in the floor there weren't any walls it was pretty nasty i think there were even some rat droppings in there my husband cleaned it up and worked in it for a while until we could get it finished out for him but now he has a really comfortable place to be able to work is where all the coffee mugs end up. About a year ago, we adopted a stray dog. Uh, he's a boxer mountain cur. We had his DNA done, which was fun, but he loves my husband and he goes to work with him every day. So there's always muddy paws and dog hair all over the office. Welcome to our backyard. As you can see, our house is definitely not done. Those are all of our appliances sitting out there, but it is getting there. They're thinking it might be done in the next month. We just added some new landscaping. Last year we had citronella plants. They got huge, really bushy, and they smelled so good, and they really helped with keeping the mosquitoes away. So we decided to plant them again. We actually planted even more of them this time, so Hopefully we won't have any mosquito issues this summer. I really wanted to do a cut garden this year. Most of our property is behind us, behind that fence there. It goes up about four acres back there and it's pretty wild, but I wanted to do some nice landscaping and kind of tame this area. So we planted a bunch of lavender and I can't wait to have fresh flowers for the house. Now back upstairs to clean the apartment, but first I'm changing into some comfy pants. I hate cleaning in jeans. We've been doing some pre-K stuff. Jake starts school in August. I am homeschooling this year, but I wanted to get a jump start on that. Let me know if any of you homeschool. I would love some tips. Thankfully the house isn't as trash as it usually is but it definitely needs some tidying up. I don't know why Jake wants to move around all of the furniture, but every single day he pushes out the ottoman, he moves the poof, the chair, that big basket. He just rearranges the entire house. Do your kids do that? Okay, I am going to talk about something very controversial right now, and that is making your bed every day. I know a lot of people feel like they can't start their day until their bed is made, but I recently read a study that talks about dust mites, which are really disgusting, and they love warm, moist places. And so when you get up in the morning after generating a bunch of heat at night, and you make your bed, you just create this environment that they thrive in. So moral of the story, don't make your bed every day. Or if you do, try to leave your blankets and sheets pushed back for a little while until they've had a chance to cool down a little bit. Oh. 
I don't know about you guys, but I never put my nonstick pans in the dishwasher. I just gently wash them and dry them. And I feel like they last a lot longer that way. What do you think? a mixture of a little bit of baking soda, dish soap, and coconut oil to clean my farmhouse sink. I heard that it was the best way to do it and I was amazed. I don't know if you can see the stains there but they are coming up so easily with just this soft brush. I went over it a few times. I didn't even have to make any more. I just used that very small amount that I had and voila! All of the stains came out and my sink ended up looking brand new again. I have a cleaning schedule each week so I already cleaned the shower this week but my biggest tip for keeping glass doors looking nice is the squeegee. We squeegee after every single shower and it just cuts down on any kind of buildup. And then once a week I go in with my bathroom cleaner um, and then scrub the glass and then I also go in with my glass cleaner after that and I never have any issues keeping my glass doors clean. I also like to leave my shower door open and this lets the shower dry quicker and keeps the mildew from growing and if you keep your sponges and loofahs out of the shower then mold can't grow underneath them. So I use glass cleaner right now. My husband cannot stand the smell of vinegar, but if you use glass cleaner like me, I learned a tip from a professional housekeeper that if you turn off the lights, the vanity light over your mirror before you spray it, it will actually stay on longer. The heat from the light dries it out, and so you have to spray on more and then you're wasting product. So this has been a really good tip and has worked for me. I'm keeping with my schedule and vacuuming today. I'll mop tomorrow. Let me know in the comments if you have a cleaning schedule weekly, monthly, or if you just like to do it all in one day. And that is it. I always like to document when the house is clean for the, you know, five seconds that it actually stays clean. I feel like if you document it, then it actually happened. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you enjoy content like this. And we will see you next time.